What could you do with just 20 minutes a day? When we have tasks, we always think, if I had an hour, if I have a whole Saturday, if I have a half a day, then I can do those things. But we totally underestimate just those small snippets of time. I've been reading a book um, that has just been amazing, and I put a link to it. Um, actually, I am out of town again, and so I got it on Audible. And it's talking about things and how we can really discover ourselves with time alone, just to think and come up with a plan. This morning, I was brainstorming what are things that I can do in 20 minute segments. So pick the ones that you think, ooh, I need to do that. But in 20 minutes, you could plan your meal, your menu for the week. Now you're not actually cooking, you're just planning and you're thinking, what do I have in the refrigerator? What do I have in the freezer? and plan out your menu. You could go for a walk. That's what I'm getting ready to do. You could read a couple chapters of a book that has been on your nightstand for eons. You could organize one drawer, just one, a shelf, part of a closet. You could maybe go through your clothes and just that rack on in your closet and decide, am I wearing this, am I not wearing it? And set a timer. That is the key because if you don't, You'll probably go way too long, make a mess, and then you'll get discouraged. However, if you simply set the timer, I find when I am timed on something, I work a lot faster. But if I know that I have 20 minutes, then I tend to focus. What about writing a card? We often are like, yeah, I should write cards. and Maybe it's condolences. Maybe it's a birthday. Maybe it's just because. What about a thank you note? We tend to say, my life is so busy, but yet we all have the same 24 hours in a day. So here's some other things. Sweep the kitchen, vacuum, clean your bathroom. What about your car? And this is a big one for a lot of people. But what about you said, okay, 20 minutes every Friday afternoon or Saturday from 9 to 9.20, I'm going to clean out the car then it doesn't get out of control. Maybe you listen to a podcast. Now, I like to do that alongside some of these things where I really don't have to think. So for example, you're washing dishes, cleaning out a cupboard. That's the perfect time to listen to your favorite podcast. Or like I've been listening to this book on Audible. So those are things, sermon, video, 20 minutes, you could take that little section of time. But again, if you're doing it, every day or every few days, you could learn that language that you've been wanting to do. You could actually learn a skill by watching, for example, a YouTube video. You could decide, I'm just going to do this one little corner of the garage. Over time, it's going to get done. What about weeding that small little patch that's maybe by your front door? Cleaning out a flower bed. Again, those are things you can do. Organize your bills. So maybe they're just here, there, and everywhere. And that first 20 minutes, all you do is you grab them, you get them neat, and you put them in one section. And maybe you divide. Okay, these are bills that I know I have to pay. Right away, these are things that maybe it's a month or so, and then you have other things. And maybe that's all you do. And then you schedule another 20 minutes on a different day when you're gonna go, and you're gonna go a little deeper. Maybe you'll just, the next time, dive into those bills that are due this week. And you go through and you organize. We totally underestimate small beginnings, doing things in small nuggets of time. So what are some of those things? What is one thing that you could say, wow, you know, 20 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but if I'm consistent and I keep at it, I could really knock that out. So I'd love it if you would sit. Maybe the first time, just set your alarm and brainstorm all the things that you could start to do in 20 minute segments. Will you finish any of these? Probably not, but just to get that one corner of your desk clean or that one shelf, it's gonna inspire you to get the floors swept, to get the laundry just in baskets to put away the laundry. 
just those things. Put some music on. Again, put something that you can listen to that feeds your soul. So I'd love to know your thoughts and what is one thing that you can do, but start today. And of course, God bless.